we are on our way to our baby's appointment so this is my 34 week checkup which i'm so excited tomorrow i do have an ultrasound so we'll see how my baby girl is doing but today um she's gonna do like the regular checkups make sure that my blood pressure is okay um the heartbeat is perfectly fine and normal uh and yeah i guess she's gonna tell me now what to expect in the next two weeks and how everything's gonna go i do know that i it's more for sure the next appointment right where we start we sit down we talk about the birth and everything right so yeah I'm just so excited because we keep getting closer and closer, but uh, yeah, so this is going to be my 34 week checkup. Um, your urine's perfect. How's the movement? Oh, she moves a lot. Okay. Like crazy. Okay. <laughs> and how's like, that one spot of pain? Um, It's gone down, I was telling you. Okay, okay. Because usually once it gets there, it kind of sits there for a while, but it's gotten yeah. better. It's, it's, gotten, it's gotten less. I feel like because she moved down, yeah, maybe. Yeah, a little less pressure. That's probably so what it is. probably that's okay. why. But if I do sleep on this side, it comes back, so I'm like, oh, yeah. no, I have to turn around. <laughs> yeah. But she sometimes gets like in this weird position. It yeah. It feels so uncomfortable. Yeah. I know. It doesn't, doesn't feel like good to have her belly up. like this. doesn't feel good. Okay, let's listen and measure. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not sure how much bigger that's gonna let you get. Maybe a little bit, not too much. Let's see, you measure. Here's my tape measure. You measured 37 last time. Because you're trying to beat all records of how much a belly can stretch. I'm gonna press right down in the area that gets kind of sore. Hang in there with me. You are now 38, so that's good. That's good. You don't need it to be much bigger than that. Okay. Okay. It'll grow more, probably. What? It'll probably grow more. Yeah, grow more. You're not done growing. Not I'm done like, growing. how much bigger can it get? <laughs> it can get bigger. You're back. I'm very excited about it. Mm -hmm. Really excited about it. It'll be great. I've seen it on videos, but I haven't had anybody do it. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So the videos I've seen. So yes, I think I'm as excited as you are, but maybe <laughs> I really am. Um, so I'm gonna give you a lap slip and you a lap slip. And that's it. Okay. Other questions? Um, Last two week visit. I'll see you yeah. when we get out in town, so you won't go to the hospital. I have my ultrasound. Oh, you do it with Dr. Yeah. Sophie or to yeah. tell? Okay, Sophie. that's right. Repeat all down in 34 weeks. Okay, perfect. You want to see how much fluid there is and how big the baby is. And he or she will tell you what the plan will be. So you'll hear, I mean, they've talked to you about what they'll say we want to repeat it or whatever they'll tell you. And I'll get the report later this week. Okay. What? You want to get it, I know, I'm like, oh my god, how much bigger can she get? Okay, this is done again. Mini hermosa. So now I'm here with the chiropractor because I still come. I'm actually starting to come every week just because obviously every week she's growing. And as you guys saw at the doctor's office, the doctor did say that she is obviously gonna keep on growing so yeah and um, I sometimes go like a week and a few days but now it's been yeah I can feel it already in my back um, but it's really been helping me come here a lot so yeah I'm gonna keep coming until pretty much I fall. Hey guys. Hi. Hey, great with you. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> You're um, but anyways uh, can't wait because every time he as soon as he does it whew, it releases the pain right away Get the pain okay. in my lower back and then in the middle now okay. the middle's getting involved now 
Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, so there's muscle spasm right here, right? Yeah. And then there's a stuck joint right there. I'm sure you can feel that yeah. one. Yeah. So they go hand in hand. That's all right. We'll get them cleared out. I think I my neck crossed It's time, huh? Yeah. Go on your back, please. Look, you're ready. Yeah. How's it feel? Good. Good. <laughs> Buenos dias. Buenos dias. It is now the next day, um, and we're on our way to our second baby appointment. So today is the exciting one because we are going to be having an ultrasound to see how much she's measuring, um, how much she kind of weighs um and yeah just see how she is the last time i was in the hospital they did um do an ultrasound on me um and they did want to check up on her real quick so they did and she was still head down she's been head down the whole entire time like how long has it been now like when was the last well yeah the last time we had an ultra ultrasound here remember he said he she was already head down so ever since I mean, I'm pretty sure because I felt the movements the same. But ever since, she's always been head down. <laughs> this girl is like ready. She already knows her role. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just so excited to see her. What happened? Oh. But yeah. So, anyways, my mom is meeting us here. Um, she was able to come after all but we always send everyone right away the pictures like to my brothers his sisters everyone <laughs> was big baby before but also big fluid yeah that was a little bit more than we're used to seeing oh yeah this is a big, big pocket here that's a little extra yeah, 29 centimeters of fluid. So, usually big fluid comes with big baby. That's the number one cause. Head is down in good position. That's the brain. That looks good. Yeah, that's pretty big. It's not off the scale, but it's at the upper portion of the scale. What's over here? It looks so weird. Over here? Yeah. That's the butt and the thigh. Oh my god. Baby nalgas. <laughs> <laughs> Six and a half pounds Six at 34 and weeks. That's pretty big for this far along. So yeah, the baby, the computer thinks you're going to have like an eight and a half pound baby. Not too giant, but definitely bigger than average. Here's the face. Let's see if we can get a good face. Let me see. Say hello la carita. There, look at that. Oh, That's a good one, huh? Little girl. That's a good one. You can change the lighting. It's so loud. It's so loud. It's so loud. Isn't that cool how we change the lighting? Yeah. <laughs> Here, baby, don't turn away from me. Oh. Well, that didn't last very long. She turned her head. Aww. Well, at least we got a good one. Wipe off the goo there. Yeah. So now I know that it's her butt that goes up. Yep, that's <laughs> her butt up there. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just got out of our appointment and oh my god! At the end she did get a little shy. She did turn around so we weren't able to capture more images of her. But I'm glad that right away we did. But oh my god, at first when I laid down, I don't know if she already knew what was going to happen or what, but she was like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> she was not having it. She did not. She doesn't like when they put things on me, on my belly. So um, right away she started like lifting my belly. It became like so weird. I was like, what the heck is happening? But she was, yeah, like a little like peak thing like a mountain thing i don't know it was so weird when i looked at my belly i was like what the heck so i was so curious because i that always happens every other time that like they put something on my belly or if i'm just like laying so i was like so curious to know what is that is that her butt is that her like leg what is that you know <laughs> and it turns out it's her butt <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's so funny now. Now I'll know. Ahora sí le voy a dar sus nalguitas, ¿verdad? Sus nalguitas. Um, but yeah, she's still head down. He says everything looks perfect. I mean, I still do have a lot of water, and she is a little bit big. Um, but everything looks perfect, so it's it's going great. So I'm just so happy that you know she looks healthy in there and that you know she's active and all but oh it always melts my heart to see her oh i just wish i could kiss her lips and like her cheeks and everything yeah, don't, yeah, don't. i know yeah casi yeah casi but it makes me so excited to know we're almost there to meet her <laughs> look what i got in the mail today you guys so American Influencer Awards has nominated me for 2019 Trendsetter of the Year. How freaking exciting. Um, it says that voting begins October 1st. So that way you guys can begin can begin voting for me. And the website will be AIAawards.com. So that way you guys can go vote for me. Oh my god, this is so cool. This is the first time that I am nominated for an award. <laughs> so that is really cool, honestly. What up, guys? Where go? What up, guys? <laughs> um, as you guys can tell, I'm, I'm, I've been really tired. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. Because um, I know some of you guys have been asking about my grandma. So I kind of wanted just to come on real quick and just give you guys an update on that. Um, I tried to avoid talking about it. I don't even, like, my baby can tell you guys, like, I don't even, like, talk about it with him because I, yeah, here it goes. <laughs> I get emotional. Um, I guess that, to be honest, um, I don't, like talking about it but she's not doing well she's still in the same situation um and we're just trying to find i guess basically like the best specialist doctor whatever that can help her and figure out her situation and how to better her but um she she unfortunately is still the same and um yeah it's been a little bit um, hard, I'm not going to lie. <sighs> but I just want to say that if you guys can still continue keeping keeping my grandma in your guys' prayers, I would appreciate it so much. Um, there's obviously not a day that, that goes by that we don't try and call and see how she's doing and seeing how we can better her situation and all. But... <sighs> I don't know, I feel like every time we try to find something better or take her to another new place, it's like she gets better but then she goes back to the same situation and it's like, it's kind of frustrating because we just don't know how to better her or at least doctors haven't given us an answer that of like being clear as to what exactly she has. So it's just been a very, very frustrating situation um, not knowing exactly what it is that she has the only thing that we do know is that her blood pressure keeps going up like crazy you guys like it's it's crazy to me how much she has like aguantado si me entiendes like I don't know I honestly think it's just God helping her because I really don't know how she's managed to aguantar tanto, to be honest. I'm just so, like, proud of her, like, for being so strong and trying to fight whatever it is that it's, you know, attacking her body and everything. But, um, yeah. <sighs> but hopefully soon we can have answers, soon that we can hear that, you know, she's getting better and everything's going to be fine. Which I really am hopeful that that is going to be the situation. Yeah, but that's pretty much the update on my grandma. Like I said, I just I just tried to avoid talking about it with 
my mom, with anyone, honestly, in my family, just because of the fact that it, it really <laughs> affects me and I right away start crying. But anyways, we're going to go to sleep. Um, so that way, ya podemos descansar. I feel like I, like I said, like, look at my eyes. I feel like I haven't been sleeping at all. And so, um, yeah. It's just a lot always going on in my mind. <laughs> But I'm gonna go to sleep because I really am tired. I'm like over here falling asleep. But yeah, so anyways, I hope that you guys got to enjoy seeing my little girl. We actually did, well me and um, Valentin's sisters did like a little side-by-side -side comparison of like how our baby girl looks so much like Valentin. And oh my god, I want to share it with you guys because I was like, dude, it's literally your twin <laughs> but here's the picture this is the one that um his sister carla um sent and i was like okay we'll use that picture and so then um yeah we put it i put it side by side and i was like look that is your twin for sure <laughs> but it's so cute it makes me so excited. <laughs> I always, I don't know why, like, from the get-go, I always knew she was going to look exactly like him. <laughs> like, it's so crazy how much she looks like you, <laughs> which I'm so, so excited about. And I'm just like, oh, I can't wait to have her here, kiss her here. But, yeah, but I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be patient and have her hopefully reach full term and everything, but... I am so happy that, you know, she's doing great in there and yeah. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and just go to sleep. So we'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye. Bye.